Hi, how are you? I'm great. Um, you have a very interesting life on Instagram. Isn't everyone's life interesting on Instagram? Well, not really, but yours is. Thank you. A lot of food and bikini pictures. Yep. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, Sony Side Up started as like a passion project for me. Mm -hmm. um, I've always been a big eater. <laughs> so I eat out a lot. A huge foodie. A huge foodie. And uh, yeah, it started off really small. It was just my friends and family and then people started to pay attention one day. And yeah, here we are. So did you always know that you wanted to be a content creator? No, I don't think so. I don't even think, I mean, sometimes it surprises me that I am, you know? Mm -hmm. um, now that I am, I love it and it's so much fun but I don't think I always knew that I wanted to be a content creator. I don't even think content creation was a job when I was a kid. Do you get to eat all the food that you shoot? Oh yeah, I have to eat all the food that I shoot. And what's your favorite food? Uh, anything chocolate. I love dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you've traveled to a lot of destinations. What would you say is your best place to be at? Yeah, I mean in this last year with COVID, traveling locally has been incredible. Going to the beaches, going yeah. on safari, yeah. rediscovering our country mm -hmm. has been great. Mm -hmm. um, a great food destination which is affordable and fun and mm -hmm. flavorful is Thailand. I've always, I love, I love Southeast Asia. Wow, Thailand is yeah. beautiful. Yeah, Very it is. Tell us what is the best advice that you've been given recently? Ooh, recent good advice. I think it's to be able to go with the flow mm -hmm. and to be able to adapt to change. Mm -hmm. I think in the last year with everything that's been happening, you know, we've all had to quickly change our plans and maybe some of the things that you were expecting would happen didn't, but other good things come from it. Right. Okay. You look so flawless. Thank Your you. looks beautiful. So what are the things that you do when you wake up in the morning? First thing I do when I wake up in the morning, I usually try and drink a liter of water. Very healthy. Thank you. Um, but I have to also have a cup of coffee, of course. Mm -hmm. And then usually I'll head to the gym, work out for like an hour, and then go back home and do my morning skincare routine. You eat a lot of food, go to a lot of restaurants. What are your top five Nairobi restaurants? Oh my gosh, okay. Great, I'm so glad you asked. I get this question a lot. Yes. Definitely Talisman, About Time, Tapas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cultiva. Mm -hmm. You being a foodie, of course you love flavor. What is your favorite spice? Chili. Chili. It, like honestly, if I'm not sweating, I don't feel like I'm eating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to be very hot. Your Instagram handle is Sunnyside App. Yes. So how do you like your eggs? Do you like them <laughs> sunny side up? I do. I like them fried. I also like them poached. But uh, now I, I feel like I have to get them sunny side up, you know? Definitely. Yeah. It must align with the brand. It must. Okay, dresses or jeans? Jeans, all day, honestly. All day, every day. Jeans, sneakers. That's what I'm comfortable in. Um, straight hair, curly hair. Yeah, you know, I've only recently... How do you wear your hair mostly? I've only recently, in the past maybe five years, started to really love my curls. As a young girl growing up, I didn't have many role models who had curly hair, so I would always want it straight or slicked all the way back. Um, but now, yeah, I love my hair the way it is. What is the question to someone who wants to be a foodie? Like, is there something about food that you'd want someone to know about? Like if they wanted to start their own food Instagram page? Or? Yeah, like um, just actively eating and loving food like you do? Um, I would say be open-minded and experiment. You might, not, you might not think you like something on the first try, but try it again, you know? Um, because you love taking photos of food and drinks, is there an art that goes into taking these pictures and making them so beautiful? Thank you. I, I wish there was. Honestly, I've never been formally trained. Most, most of it for me is just years of doing it and sometimes I look at my old photos and cringe because it's not great but I'm sure there's lessons out there if you want to learn. What is the one thing that a food content creator should never miss in her space or like pantry or when they are going to shoot? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, a power bank. Listen, your phone is gonna die because you're just there taking photos. And I also hope you don't like eating hot food because 
You take so many photos, your food is cold by the time you're eating. What's your favorite drink? Sparkling water. I know that's boring, and some people say it tastes like electricity, but I love it. Or a margarita. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Nice. What's the one combination of drinks or like fruits and whatnot that would never or should never go together? Like one sacrilege that people commit when making drinks? Um, don't forget to start with your ice, don't finish with your ice, it'll slosh. Amazing. Let's have some drinks. Okay, so I'm told this is a virgin strawberry splash, virgin pina colada, virgin mojito, and a virgin berry smash. Looks great. Right? I think I'm gonna try the berry smash. Okay. What about you? Let's go ahead. I'm going with the fifth choice, the mojito. I love it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So good. Refreshing. Yeah. Especially on a sunny day, very. Cheers. Have some more. <laughs> Have some more. Okay.